You ready to take your morning nap? Is that why you're chewing on your hand? <gasps> Hi, Bobby. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says nap time. Look what just came in the mail. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Ooh, look at that face. I had gotten a free photo book from Shutterfly for ordering my Christmas cards through them. And I made it all about little Miss Bobby. Oh yeah, these pictures turned out really good. Now I'm going to be honest, I didn't put a whole lot into the like actual design of the book because I was trying to use the code on like the day that it expired and it's actually a little bit harder to make these books than I thought it was going to be. Oh, look, I love this page. She's so cute. Man, I hate this light. I mean, I like this light. I hate the way it looks in videos, but... I don't know what it is about literally every house in this area has no like overhead light in the living room. It's like every single other room, even the hallway, has overhead lights. And then the living room, there's none. But like what were they thinking in the 60s that like people just don't need lights in their living room? My last day off work with the little baby. I kind of felt ready to go back to work until I got an email from the person that was covering for me just like updating me on my building and I don't know it kind of all became really real and it reminded me of the things that I don't like about my job I don't know I need to try and stay positive though because it's gonna be hard enough without me like piling more negativity on top of it Good things, good things. I'm going back part time. I, on Monday and Friday, I get to come home during my lunch and feed her and see her and love her. I'm gonna miss her, oh my gosh. And my job's really flexible, so in case of an emergency, I can always leave. And I don't have to like put her in daycare or anything as of now, just the way mine and Chris's schedules work. She'll be watched by one of us all the time, that's good. Good things. I'm about to go to a mom's group, which I'm hoping that just kind of being around some other new moms and like just talking about this might help a little bit. Just, you know, people that understand. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this outfit. Ah, it's so cute. You're so cute. And we're running late per usual. But I had to get your cute outfit. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm making you late, baby. <laughs> I love you, though. You'll never guess where I got this. I got it at Kroger. We have, like, a Walmart-type Kroger near us. And that is where I found this cute little outfit for $10. I don't typically buy her brand new clothes. Oh, no. Don't spit, don't spit, don't spit. Uh, uh. Where's your cloth though? I just had it. Okay. Got it. We saved a cute outfit. Yes, we did. Oh my gosh, your face. We saved the cute outfit, Bobby. Are you happy? <laughs> Why do you always lose your smile when I put the camera on you? You're too serious. You're too serious. Little baby. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be late. I need to like get her buckled in. So, right, I don't typically buy her new clothes. Um, I do like the secondhand places because baby clothes are just like not really worth spending a lot of money on since they only wear them for a few months. But when I saw this, I just couldn't. It was way, way too cute. Way too cute. Bobby. Can I get you in here? I can't see if I'm seeing you. Hey, big girl. Shoot. 
I mean, I read late, but I still got paid attention. <laughs> oh, just got out of the mom's group and it wasn't as good as the last one I went to, but I'm gonna get another chance. It just wasn't as like, I don't know how do I put it? Maybe like intimate, like I felt like in the other group, the other moms were really like there supporting each other where this one people were just kind of like there to hang out. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't like a terrible group or anything. It just wasn't as good as the last one I went to. And I guess I was hoping for a little more emotional support than I got talking about going back to work and stuff. And out of freaking nowhere, I like started crying while another mom was talking about going back to work and not like crazy crying, but a little bit. And I just, I focus on the positives. That's what I have to do. Yes. I don't remember if I already said that Chris might be going to days. Which, I'm just went off. So that's exciting news. Positives, lots of positives. You can look at her. It is later in the evening. Chris has now gone to work. I want you in this shot, little girl. I want your face in this shot. <laughs> um, and you can see that little Bobby is in a bit of a different outfit. Cause Miss, yeah you, <laughs> Miss Thing decided to blow out on her adorable outfit that I had on her before. I'm really hoping that I'm able to get that yellow stain out because the outfit's too cute to just wear once. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night uh, just getting ready for tomorrow. Getting like my clothes set out, my lunch made, making sure everything's ready for this one tomorrow for tomorrow. Bottles and <sighs> go miss her. I'm going to miss your face. <laughs> Are you going to have fun tomorrow? You're going to hang out with your daddy. Who apparently is incredible. And your granny. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Are you going to miss me? Are you gonna miss me? Yeah. A little bit? No! Oh, baby. I'm gonna miss you. I'm going into work. I'm like not wanting to go to work in the same way. same way that I've kind of always not wanted to go to work um, I think it helps that it's you know 830 and Bobby's still asleep she usually sleeps till 10 so like it's easier to leave her sleeping than it would be if she was awake plus knowing I get to come home to feed her you know at, around lunch so that helps a lot but we'll see if it like hits me at some point in the day just came out to my car to pump for the first time. And oh, today is not going like great. It just took me a really long time to kind of get set back up for the day and walking in, do a lot of stuff to do. And I have someone on TPN today, which is like such a hard assessment and I hardly ever do them, so. It makes it even harder because like now I have to like re-look up and re-remember how to do all that crap. Glad to step out to my car. That would take him like just a minute to not think about work. <laughs> oh yeah, and one of my pump things is not um, working. I don't know what that's about. So fun times. So I figured out what was wrong with my pump. So that's good. They're both working now, but like it's taking a little longer than I was hoping to pump. And now I'm just getting stressed out that like I have so much to do today. 
Okay. I'm not gonna stress. I'm just gonna maybe do an extra day next week if I have to at this building because I actually haven't picked up another building yet. Um, work sucks. Yes, I am finally heading home. It's 5.20. I ended up staying just a bit after five because I was home for just a little more than an hour, so. It was not a terrible day. Like, the morning was really stressful, just kind of getting back in the groove of things. And honestly, I got about half as much done as I used to in a day. Um, just everything took a little bit longer. But I got approved for some extra hours next week to kind of catch up. I would say it was overall not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I was busy enough to not like be thinking that much about how much I miss being home and miss my baby. What I do, I really do. Oh, I hate this commute home because I'm just like wanting to be home right now. Sweet thing, I missed you all day. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <gasps> I missed you. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, baby. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> You're so cute.